All right. Y'all see the screen. Isekai garbage. ReZero is overrated. Garbage slash. ReZero fans are idiots. Rant from King Mad. And yeah, this is an anime only an idiot could like. If you unironically think this is a good anime, what the fuck is wrong with you, Lamal? Man, this is a hella early upload, boys, but here we go. For real, fuck this anime, though. Man, this shit is complete garbage, and anyone with eyes could see that. It's an absolute embarrassment that this anime was even made in the first place. I mean, God help these loser ass fans as they debate over which waifu is better. I mean, this could literally never be me, Lamau. Imagine being a grown adult and rating this shit highly. I mean, let's take a step back and realize that you and I both are grown ass men. And we're talking, we're making videos about 2D JPEGs online. Like, I don't think you're on a morally high ground. Like, let's not get it twisted, okay? Absolutely pathetic! Now, so many people rate this anime highly, and fuck you, YouTube, for age restricting me, restricting me last time. Also, shout out to Luna for requesting this. I couldn't remember who specifically requested. I exposed this before I made it, but here you go, fam. And, man, I mean, based on the comments, bro. Like, a lot of people agree with this, and I think that it makes sense, because obviously this video is intended for specifically ReZero haters, and this anime is definitely going to filter out a lot of people that can't handle the regression loops, the state of Natsuki Subaru as he falls into despair from his own sins, and is pretty much just a loser quite often, right? And I'm sure a lot of people do get pissed off about it. I'm always open to listening to people's opinions and logics as to why they hate a show just because they hate ReZero doesn't mean that they're dumb i want to hear like genuinely their perspective to see that to see if i can like change my perspective as well let's go all right guys ReZero is complete fucking garbage and I this audio quality is complete fucking garbage i'm sorry five seconds in come on bro i mean Guys, seriously, this is easily one of the worst anime, anime I've ever seen. Yeah. It's not even funny how bad this anime was, and it's absolutely hilariously pathetic and sad that these motherfuckers actually hyped this anime yeah. up still. Yeah. And that this anime still has any amount of fans. I uh -huh. mean, absolutely ridiculous. Um, Where do you even start, man? This is a little bit of an older anime now, so I mean, uh -huh. it should, you know, maybe... When is this video made? Two years ago. Most people have seen it, um... But to the intellectuals on this channel, it should be obvious why this is garbage. But, <laughs> but to the intellectuals in this channel. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic, if he's playing ironic. There's no one actually says that, right? To the intellectuals in my channel. To those with supreme anime IQ. He's trolling, right? But I'll, I'll elaborate a little further. So. All right. If you haven't seen this anime, essentially the premise is mm -hmm. it's just this isekai garbage. Are you gonna not change the visual? <laughs> uh, it's an audiobook! We listening to just an audiobook! Alright. That's anime, oh, you know, main character gets transported to another world, except this time, uh, yeah. basically the whole story is this dude just simping over uh, a girl. That's basically Emilia. It. That's the yep. whole fucking story. Everything I mean, that is the main driving factor, right? Subaru's root, you know. Moving desires all stem from simping over the silver-haired elf girl, the half-elf. And he fucking loves silver-haired girls based on the amount of figurines he has in his room. I think he does is motivated by this girl just because he wants to fuck her, basically. Mm. That's it. This True, brother. Girl, uh, but True, brother. I'm going to elaborate further. So basically, here's, here's how it starts off, right, guys? Right. So you understand what I'm saying, all right? Okay. This is how the anime starts. There's this dude in a convenience store, right? He walks out of the convenience store, mm -hmm. and boom. All of a sudden, he's in another world. <laughs> yep. Right? Fucking yep. retarded. Right. Right there, I was like, all right, wrap it up. You know, this shit is stupid. Oh, come on. That. What? Why are you so mad that he walked out of a convenience store and blinked and was in a different world? Like, of all things to be mad about, you're mad about that? Stupid as hell. Like that RDC world meme. All right, wrap it up, wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Because right, that right. shit was just fucking retarded. Bet. I mean, and the worst part about it is the dude doesn't even have, like, any reaction to being in a new world. He's all excited. He's like, oh, well, now I'm going to be the hero of this world, right? Mm. Uh, this this is my storyline now. It's just hilarious. And this is like a, this is like a teenager dude, right? So you would imagine um, 
he, you know, he would have a family or some friends or some shit he's eager to get back. No, that's the thing, man. He doesn't have any of that. He has no friends, and even though his parents are super supportive, he has such tremendous amount of guilt because he's wasted his entire life just being a shut-in after peaking in kindergarten and being overshadowed by his dad, and this whole thing has just ate him inside, and he wants the parents to, like, admonish him and kick him out, but they can't because they're too nice, and this is his chance to just start over in a different world, right? Without being compared to his dad and everything, and I think that it makes sense why he'd be excited. To, but it's like, no, uh, he has nothing going for himself. He's a complete fucking loser degenerate, man. Yes, you're so true. So he's like, oh, well, well, I'm in this new uh, world, so uh, let's fuck around a bit, right? Yep. So basically what happens is once he's transported this world, he meets this girl um, named Amelia, and all of a sudden, you know, just because he happens to run into her, I guess, she saves him from mm. uh, these muggers or some shit. Um, and guys, this anime is so boring, so I might be forgetting the details, but I, I mm. really couldn't care less. This anime... This anime is literally one of the worst I've seen. My man, if you're gonna call this anime garbage, you gotta come with the receipts. You don't even know what you're talking about. He folds for Amelia, because he's so down bad for silver-haired elf girls. And there's multiple moments in the season where there's these turning points where the affection goes from merely lust to actually perhaps love, right? In the beginning, he was alone, no one around to save him. Amelia actually does that. It was one-sided, of course, but he still did it. And then after Amelia does that, she makes excuses as to why this is a selfish thing that I did for myself and it wasn't for you. And Subaru acknowledges that and sees that this is something that I've done in the past and a person like that is going to end up wasting their life. Immediately, he makes a, a reason as how this could connect to himself and he's infatuated with her. And then the lap pillow scene in Arc 2, and ever since then, it's just been a home run. If you are a fan of this anime, I, I, I cannot take you seriously. But you don't even know how to, like logically debate and explain why you can't take me seriously because you don't even know the show that you're shitting on but yeah so basically he just decides to simp for this girl for the rest of the show and that's it i mean mm. th this girl's name is amelia she's a half elf girl and i guess she's candidate for like the ruler of the country or some shit mm -hmm. and there's five of them i mean she's basically just a plot device but she uh the main character subaru decides to simp over her it's absolutely pathetic and sad but uh that's the yeah. premise of the story I think he might have been dumped by a gray-haired girl. <laughs> Maybe a silver-haired girl, like, ghosted him or something. Like, he has this irrational hate. <laughs> like, is there something he wants to let us know? So, I mean, it's so fucking boring, guys. This anime is so terribly boring. Like you tell me? Okay. <laughs> If this is the 10th time that this you're telling me that this anime is so boring and the Supreme Intellect knows what I'm talking about, but you can't even put to words why it's boring. You just say, yep, it's just him chasing after a girl. But any anime can be reduced to that format if you want to take a disingenuous way to do that. You can list any anime, and I can also do mental gymnastics to make it seem very simple and stupid. It's a very deep show, but I don't think you understand the show. Like, I, w I would rather watch someone make fucking molasses than watch this shit. I mean, it, it is bad, bro. I'd Why is it bad? I'd wake up every day and stick a fucking pretzel stick, a salted pretzel stick down my goddamn urethra than ever have to watch this show again. And I only watched the first season, so th these idiots, uh, they're saying, mm. oh, well, dude, the season two gets better. I, I don't care. I already wasted enough time with the goddamn first season. Why would... It's fine. I'm, I'm willing to converse with season one content, but he's not talking about the show. So far, the extent of the show is Subaru blinked outside of 7-Eleven got transported. This is dumb. He chases after Amelia. This is dumb. But, like, that's like such a small, minute fact detail of the story, and you completely gloss over just this rich, diverse, dynamic world of that is Kingdom of Lugunica and all the different things happening at the moment. Subaru arrives to this kingdom during the time when the royal family has all died out due to a mysterious plague that seems to kill the royal genetics. It's warring times with other nations as well, and we could get invaded. People are in a rush to find the royal candidates, and Subaru happens to come across a girl who was one of the first candidates. The whole story then goes from him fucking up and then doing acts of heroism, like subjugating the White Will and taking down the Archbishop, and it's so amazing to see this character go to the depth of despair and just be such a loser to, to climb out and just have such heroic moments that adds to the story. The world building is fantastic. There's so many diverse characters and lore. The fight scenes are amazing as well. There's so much mysteries and different things to like theories, theorize about. It's such a rich world that I don't think he even understands because he has a bias for 
silver haired girls. But like, again, I just care about the actual logic and the opinions that people state to get to their conclusion. Would you fucking idiots think I would waste any more time with this garbage ass series? I mean, it is terrible. I would literally rather do anything else than watch this garbage. I mean, you motherfuckers need to go outside. I mean, ha have you seen what it looks like outside? I mean, dude, you are literally crying on YouTube to a bunch of kids about the anime, about how it traumatized you. Don't act like you're better and say, go touch grass. Brother, you are literally rage baiting for kids online for Chinese cartoons. Yes, I know it's Japanese, but come on, brother. Like, what do you mean? Don't try to take the moral high ground right now. Probably not, because you motherfuckers are holed up in your goddamn rooms watching this garbage-ass anime and other True. shit. Fucking True. Fucking loser-ass Reddit or incel fucking virgin retards, man. I mean, you people are... F <sighs> Listen, you claim to be a supreme intellect, yet throughout the video, you haven't given me anything to point out, like, or even, like, suggest that you're intellectual enough to have an actual video essay about why you hate ReZero. The entire point of the story you've mentioned is about how you blinked and went to an isekai world. And then the other thing is him chasing after a girl. You reduce the story like that, then it's just been repeated loops of saying people who watch this stuff are dumb. But like, if you're truly smart, then convince us. Let me calm the fuck down. Because I need to explain this anime a little further, right? All right, please. Do so the so. main character is a complete idiot. I mean, basically for the first like 10 episodes, it felt like it was just some slice of life garbage, basically. That is already telling me that you are watching this. Either it's a complete rage bait or it's just completely disingenuous because by the time you go three episodes in Slice of Life, did you not see Elsa versus Reinhardt? Whole arc one was literally him trying to survive and get to the fucking loose cellar and defeat Elsa. Arc two was a game of Among Us and trying to figure out who's a suspicious one, who is potentially, you know, cursing people and killing the people in the mansion. Oh shit, it's Rem that's killing us? What's going on? There and then the whole beautiful episode, episode seven of him realizing that it's like so scary to die and traumatize, but he overcomes that shit because he wants to save everyone. Like this is not slice of life. Like if you want to shit on a show, you got to come up with facts, but you are too stupid to understand this show. And you're claiming you're smart. That's the really annoying part. Subaru ends up getting enlisted by the girl in uh, her, uh, where she stays at. There's this dude named Roswell. I guess she lives with them, right? And uh, because he saves her when they get attacked, she, he saves Amelia. They're like, okay, you can come stay with us. And he basically just works with her, right? And, and that's it for most of the first beginning episodes but one thing i forgot to mention is oh mm. the cool thing i guess these, these idiots think this shit is cool is uh yeah this fucking idiot subaru he can return by death right so he has yeah. the ability basically when he dies he gets transported back to another time previously yeah. um in his world right yes which is not even fucking explained i mean it doesn't explain how he gets it he just gets the power he dies and it comes back he's like oh okay cool so i have this ability there it's it's so bad bro this and why is it bad? Anime is so bad, bro. That's another sh Because you're too monkey brain to understand that he could have potentially have made a pact with Satala during the first loot seller run and has lost the memories and has indescribable love for Satala even though he's never apparently met her and maybe the power is an authority of l envy. Maybe there's a witch factor involved with it, but these are super endgame secrets that aren't supposed to be told right off the bat. There's a reason that there's mysteries exist. I find that a lot of people that are very impatient quite often just get upset because not everything is just told to them. Just like the one video we watched where that guy literally misunderstood the whole theme of show don't tell. That guy literally said, tell don't show. I'm not being told enough things I don't understand. And at that point, you are self-reporting your low IQ when you claim to be superior intellect. And there's like this irony of it. This shitty thing about, I mean, I thought the convenience store shit was bad right there, let alone, I was like, alright, this is gonna be easily garbage, um, but then that, that bullshit ass power, and for some reason he can't talk to the, talk to anyone about the power, you know, he tried. Yeah, isn't it very compelling that he can't abuse this seemingly OP power? He can never let anyone else know. If he does, consequences can arise. He can also use it in a very clever way to increase the witch's miasma for an AoE taunt for utility purposes in a battle. Isn't it amazing that he's not just abusing this shit? Tries to explain shit going on in the story to people, but, uh, you know, he chokes up all of a sudden because I guess there's this witch or something, the witch's cult, I guess, prevents him, which doesn't even make sense. It's not ever explained.
Yeah, it, it's 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 the Witch of Envy, not the Witch's Cult. Sep two separate things. But you know what the fuck ever, because this anime no, makes no damn sense whatsoever. It doesn't make sense because you're actually not supreme intellect. This entire video is you self-reporting your lack of intelligence, your lack of ability to follow logic, to see the clues shown by the story rather than telling, and then you coming to these conclusions thinking you're better in the show is an embarrassment. However, I mean, the side characters are garbage. You know, in this mansion setting, they have these two maids, Rem and Rom. They're both shit. Rem and Rom, baby. My favorite maid, Rom. That's right. And I still believe in Felt being the lost Luguningen princess that was kidnapped a long time ago. And Romji being the head butler, or perhaps the one that did was involved with the kidnapping of the lost princess of Lugunika. I'm all down for Romji being a maid, bro. It Rim inst inst inch eventually become ends up becoming a simp for Subaru uh, out of the blue, you know, for whatever fuck. Not out of the blue. She saw how Subaru was a hero in the perfect run of Arc 2. She was affirmed of her own identity crisis of being an Oni, and Subaru gave her reasons to move forward. There's a lot of reasons why Rem folded for Subaru like that. Fucking reason, because this plot is complete. I mean, it's just a joke, man. Rom is a fucking idiot, useless, uh, nowhere to be found throughout the show, except, uh, the, I guess, the beginning. And this idiot can't even say Subaru's name right, man. That shit pissed me off. This anime literally has no, not... Badasu is a cute pen name joke in Japan culture. You, you take the name and you take the first word and and then the last word and you put it in the front and it's a, it's a cute little... But I get it. I, I get why he wouldn't understand that. Not a single redeeming quality, man. Oh, Barusu, Barusu couldn't even say fucking Subaru's name right. Like, I don't know if he's trolling or not. That's, that's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point right now. I don't know if he's rage fading something like, hmm, is he retarded or is he farming us right now? I don't know. Uh, it's like they're trying to get you to hate the characters. There's another girl named. It's like you're trying to get us to hate you right now, bro. I, I don't know if you're being genuine or not. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Beatrice, she always says, I suppose, after her sentences. Well, th this could work, I suppose. You could do that, I suppose. I think that, I suppose. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, man, so it's such <laughs> annoying. Shut the fuck up, I suppose. These characters, I, I mean, it's terrible. It is terrible. Okay. So basically, you know, the plot just goes on to where um, eventually Subaru's a fucking idiot. And uh, because Amelia's at this royal selection thing or whatever in this palace with the other candidates. Yeah. Because Subaru's a simp, um, I guess she gets disrespected because a lot of people don't like that she's a half-elf, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Because I guess the witch is a half elf 2 or some mm -hmm. shit it's rumored but you never even see the witch in the show i mean it's retarded i mean do you expect them to show the end villain immediately you do see little glimpses of her slowly but surely right but um you know so at the fucking royal palace or whatever they're uh you know talking about why who should become ruler and this and that and then they insult amelia or some shit because she's a half elf and you know yeah. super rude because uh he has to white knight because basically that's all this story is is just him white knighting for fucking I mean, he ain't really wrong about that. Amelia, he has to speak up and uh, he yeah. embarrasses her, even though she tells True. him not to do it. True. The dumbass uh, thinks because, oh, well, this might get, uh, this might get me uh, a closer reward. Right there. Uh, let, yeah. let, me, let me simp for her some more. Uh, but no, it just ruins her reputation or she gets mad. Yep. Uh, because he, like, disrespects the knights and yep. shit. And uh, he eventually. He gets it! He gets the whole story! So he gets into a fight with the knights and the bullshit yeah. because he spoke up and said some stupid shit for him on Amelia's behalf and uh, he gets kicked out. Which is ridiculous because it, it's hilarious because you know he has this power returned by death, right? And he, he at this point he's died like a bunch of times in the series. Mm -hmm. Like he, he's come back multiple times, right? Mm -hmm. But if his main goal is just to fuck Amelia, once he makes that mistake with Amelia, couldn't he just like kill himself? Yeah, he probably should have, but... I think for the storytelling perspective, to have such an impactful moment between the main heroine and the character, simply by regressing and erasing that would cheapen the impact of the moment. So I'm very glad that the show didn't just like reset that. It'd be pointless. You see what I'm saying? Because he's just going to come back. So if he doesn't speak out at the palace, right? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he just kill himself and redo it? You see what I'm saying? Because you've seen throughout the past episodes how terrifying it is to use this power. People think that ReZero is a bullshit power fantasy because Subaru can simply regress and overcome all his prophecies. Sorry, the problems, but it's not really the case, right? There is true horror and terror and trauma related to using the power. Dying is very scary. And on top of that, 
coming back with forbidden knowledge of different timelines and trying to address those and trying to convince other people to help him gets him more suspicious. There's different ways to kind of nerf this seemingly overpowered power. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, because of that, that basically, you know, boosts the plot or whatever. And then Amelia and Subaru start beefing because of that bullshit. And then mm. uh, that furthers the plot and, you know. Yeah, furthering the plot is great, right? How great that instead of him just erasing his faults with a cheap move, we have to now deal with the consequences. It's just shit, man. It's just also shit. I really don't even care to explain this. It's so garbage. Uh, I mean, but... Hold up. You just literally said everything correct about Arc 3, about how it furthers the plot, then you says it's just shit. There's a disconnect there. You gotta build up your case and illustrate why it's shit. But you have told us that you understand what's happened, and that it's actually helping the plot, and that it's shit. I feel like this is rage bait now, right? He's slipping. He's slipping right now. If you've seen it, you should know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it just makes no sense. It, mm. the, the anime is garbage. The fans are idiots. I mean, the villain, uh, there's... And you've said this like 17 times without having any actual points why it's garbage and fans are idiots. The villain too named Beetle, Betelgeuse, Be Beetle Goose or some shit. Obviously, yeah. it's just Beetlejuice. I don't know why. Sure. You know, this anime wants to be fucking extra. I mean... Well... Technically, the names are related to constellations. Betelgeuse, Subaru being Pleiades, the Uniter, Subaru car logo, six stars, six archbishops, six witches potentially, six witch factors. Is he collecting all of them? Who knows, right? There's a lot. All these characters in lore have direct relations to the stars and constellations. <sighs> With the names and shit, it, 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 this image just pisses me off, man. Like, it's just aggravating how bad this why are you so mad? Because of his name? Coming from constellations that has heavy implications to the story of how the constellations are positioned and how relate relate to each other? Why are you so mad? Because you don't get it? And, and, and the villain's just edgy garbage. I mean, he's terrible. Uh, he mm. represents the sin of sloth. I, I know, yeah. super fucking original. But, um... It Sin is lost, super fuck. what do you mean by that? Like, do you not understand that the whole theme is seven deadly sins? Yeah, he's just edgy. I mean, they beat him later on, uh, somehow. I mean, Subaru, uh, pulls out, like, the Death Note or some shit, I guess, and just kills No. That is the gospel that he took from Betragus. He uses Rental Goa, which is Julius' fire spirit that he sends to Betragus. But before that, it was the battle with Julius that helped overcome i think he is rage baiting at this point he's kind of slipping the beginning he had me right now he's slipping kills him later on it, it makes no sense like there there's just so much shit that's not even explained hmm. like you don't even know what his goal is i mean i guess his goal is to meet the witch or some shit and the goal is to save amelia right subaru somehow he gets the witch's scent which is marked on him so every time uh i guess he talks about return by death he uh Spikes it? Yeah, you know, he uh, gets the witch's center or some shit. I, I, I really don't know, man. Yeah, I can tell that. I, I think that you're very confused. I think that you need to wear a helmet before watching this show, and that still might not be enough from getting concussed. I mean, this anime is garbage. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I wanted to listen, listen, listen. I am perfectly fine with you calling an anime garbage, but at the very least, give me the mental gymnastics and some sort of logic, some sort of basis to come up with your argument. You're telling me that you don't understand the story and therefore it's garbage. That's just like, again, self-reporting how stupid you actually are despite calling yourself supreme intellect. So this must be rage bait. I refuse to believe this guy's being sincere. I refuse. He's got to be farming us right now. To fall asleep half the time I was watching this shit because it was so fucking boring. Um, I mean, this shit is literally the, like the cure to insomnia. This is so bad. I mean, any fan of this, I'm... I hate to break it to you, but I really don't hate to break it to you because you are a complete fucking moron. If you like this anime, I have no respect for you people. I mean, you people are idiots. Again, just baseless insults without addressing what's going on. Like, personal insults are the lowest hanging fruit. When you don't know how to argue based on the logic and the points given, people result into just like personal insults. Like, talk about the story and formulate your opinion why the story is garbage rather than just like repeating over and over again about how the people that watch this is stupid. I mean, there's nothing good about this anime. Side characters are completely useless. Let me...
doubling down in the side characters. Last time Rem and Romji got shit on. Which other side characters are garbage, bro? Talk about Rem for a second, cause okay, Rem. I've seen the fan base. Basically, this yeah. is just a fan service anime. You know, fan service uh, fan base. You know, basically these days just debate which girl is better, right? Uh, the girl. I mean, every anime waifu wars happen. It's not specific to ReZero. Subaru simps over Amelia or. The only way, like, like it's really simple. Like, if you want to rage bait, literally do this. I think that people who watch ReZero are absolute virgin loser incels that's never had any interaction with the real girl. Rem serves a power fantasy. To, be ha to have a girl that's going to be there unconditionally supporting you even if you fuck up is the ultimate power fantasy. And this show is marketed towards those virgin losers that wishes that they could just have a girl without ever correcting their behavior. For those reasons, ReZero enjoyers are losers, right? At that point, there's some partial truth in there that's scattered around to make it believable to like illustrate your point on why people who watch this show are idiots. Well, like, can he do it? Let's see. Or one of the, the blue haired maid, which is Rem, it's basically just between these two. And they both fucking suck. I don't know why anyone likes them. Um, I mean, it, it's not even convincing at all. The, these relationships are just forced and, and just garbage. Uh, I mean, Rem becomes, comes in love with uh, Subaru, I guess, for whatever fucking reason. Cause arc 2, right? Remember, Arc 2 is the point where Rem's entire identity crisis about her even. Is she worth even existing, right? Her valley, Subaru affirms all of that, saves everyone, shows heroism. He's literally given herself a reason to live for and die they for. They go on a few quests or some shit. Um, and, and you know, the maids are like these demon girls. So of course, oh, these edgy losers think that shit's cool. But that's, that's low bait, bro. Come, do you think that like, because Rem and Rem are Onis that like, they like, no, I don't think they give a fuck about the Oni thing. But, um, yeah, Rem falls in love with Subaru, right? This shit is so pathetic, bro, because... Why? And this is... I'm just, like, highlighting the hilariously dumb shit in this anime, right. but... Yeah? Rem, she... She's, like... Conf there's this point where she's, like, confessing uh, uh -huh. her love to Subaru, and well, she's 18, gonna baby. him, and White Knight, and she's simping from the whole show, bro. Don't Episode 18, baby! But she, she's just, like, pouring her heart out to him, like, yeah. you know, giving her this, this spiel and shit, man. Yeah. And Subaru's, like... That's great, but I love Amelia. It's uh -huh. like, <laughs> dog, what the fuck? And like, she just poured that shit out just to get, you know, fucking curved anyways. And, and mm. you know, the most pathetic part is Rim is like, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll help you anyway because I'm a simp. You know, it's terrible. I kind of do agree with that part. That part still does kill me about how Rim didn't wish for her own happiness by monopolizing her own love and is wishing... Subaru to chase after Amelia. I, that, that part kills me. I mean, you, you Rim fans, you Amelia fans, you people are just degenerates. I mean, you motherfuckers don't deserve rights, dog. Like, this shit is ridiculous. I'm being hyperbolic, but I mean, seriously, it, it, it's bad. Okay. You people are disgusting. Absolutely pathetic fucking losers. Why? Because there's people saying, I like Amelia, I like Rem, and like, this isn't specific to ReZero. Every fandom has people screeching over which girl is better. Like, this is such a weak argument. I mean, that shit with Rim was just hilariously sad. I mean, this is basically sad. just a simp storyline, guys. Um, there's some other garbage characters, side characters, I forget. There's, like, the girl with the green hair who's uh, another Gosh. contender for the candidate or some shit. And, um, Karsten family. I guess Subaru finds out that the witch's cult is going to try to attack Amelia's palace or whatever. Or Roswell's mansion, where you know, where they stay at, basically, their crib. Mm-hmm. The crib, and, uh, Roswell's you crib. Know, he, he's trying to, uh, I guess, basically protect her, you know, because plot. Um, and uh, <laughs> because plot, yeah, because Super wants to save Amelia, but you just, you just let him die. She, he uh, requests help from the green-haired girl or whatever. I yeah. forget her fucking name. She says it's like Miss Cruchet or some shit. I don't remember. <laughs> no, he's 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 beating, he's beating, he's beating. No, no, that you got. Yeah, I got you. I got you, motherfucker. You shouldn't have done that. Because there is no way someone would have said, I don't remember the name, Miss Cruchet or something. No, no, no. That is such an intentional inflammatory comment to piss off people based on the pronunciation of the name. No, 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 no. You fucked up there. Everything up till now was pretty, pretty decent. I'm like, is this guy just retarded or is he baiting? Now I know he's baiting. 
um, and she doesn't believe him or she's not like, I'm not going to buy it, buy it anyways. But then later on when the white whale comes back, mm. which is this fucking big ass monster uh, that they got to slay later on, yeah. she believes him because, oh, she has this ability that has a uh, mist or some shit where she can see the mist around you if you're lying. I think it's the wind, right? It's like the blessing of something where the wind spirits will tell if it's a lie or not. Lying or not. Because Subaru can't explain that he returns by death, so that's how he gets all this information, right? Yeah. But uh, I think it's funny that she believes him when he's talking about the white whale, but he doesn't. she doesn't believe her like when she was talking about the witch's cult coming to help Amelia, or she wasn't going to help him anyways. Like, uh... Well, that's the first run, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. In the first run, Subaru was engulfed with wrath, and... There was a whole lesson learned there of like believing in your own fucking lies or something. That's like nothing short of madness. I forget the exact line said, but Krush, even though the winds weren't lying, there was no mutual value either gained and it was a very suspicious person. The second time was totally different. We went and negotiated and gave her actual value. Claims to Roswell's mansion to actually farm shit. By the way, the uh, stuff that they're going to farm from Roswell's like territory, apparently that is the uh, magic rock shit that like Amelia was farming in Frozen Bond. Remember when Amelia was like using a pickaxe to like farm little icicle shit and sell to the merchant and trade it for like fucking peanuts and shit? I, I don't know. Apparently that's kind of like that. But regardless, there was much uh, mutual value that they could have gained. And on top of that, the whales showing up by the Meteor, right? It wasn't a random claim. It was we knew the exact time when the whale would show up because last time in the Nokia flip phone, we knew the time. And of course, now we're not really lying, but it's, 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 it's like a truth kind of riddled with suspicion, but the blessing didn't say he's lying because he's right. It's going to show up at that time when the media is going to tell him. So that's like, you know what? I think that's credible proof enough to actually believe you. I don't know. It's just stupid, man. It's ridiculous. Like Subaru has all this information that he tells them and they, they believe him when it's convenient, but they believe Oh, come on, bro. Up until this point, nobody believed him on any of the information that he would bring because people would think that you're suspicious. How do you know this shit? This time made sense. There was mutual value gained and it was through a Meteor, which is a known device, magical contraptions that, are, that can do shit. Of course, the phone wasn't. It was a lie, but like... We still knew when it was going to show up, so it's a believable enough. Even when it's not convenient, and then the white whale shit was complete garbage, too. I mean, these Why? motherfuckers uh, fighting what? this giant-ass beast, somehow they beat, beat him. It didn't even make sense how they beat him. These motherfuckers, you know, flying in the uh -huh. sky. These motherfuckers falling, like, stabbing the whale. Well, mind you, the whale is up in the sky. They're, like, falling a mile in the sky, landing on the ground and shit, you know, bouncing off swords to fucking propelling in the sky. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the Ricardo scene. When Wilhelm went up, then he fell down. Then Ricardo used the side of his blade to just, like, push Wilhelm back up. There is a lot of different fights happening, but I don't think you realize that these are not regular humans. They're, like, super powerful, like, basically super humans. And, like, it's not like they're just jumping up and down. There's ways to climb up there, like the propelling, and when he falls back down, the mounts, like the Rigers and the dragons, right? The land dragons, they catch, like, I don't think that's really, like, that's what's pissing you off about this fiction? Not about, you know, like, like of all things to nitpick on, Wilhelm the sword demon, one of the strongest soldiers in the kingdom, being able to jump off the blade that Ricardo launches onto the whale, that's what's pissing you off? guy you know sh uh, slicing this dude i'm talking about like wilhelm yeah especially the, like the knights and shit they get this army to you know, fight the sick. white whale and it's just unrealistic as hell no shit it's a fictional work unrealistic brother you motherfuckers are using ice magic there's a flying whale <laughs> there there is a fly this dude can like erase people's memory <laughs> <laughs> and this is what's unrealistic about you. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a fantasy genre. It's not gonna be realistic, but it's just garbage <laughs> as hell. I mean, falling out of a mile in the sky, it's just yeah. terrible. I mean, oh, come on. This is so low effort fate. Now you're falling off. The, the beginning half, there's a lot of gas going on. You, you're, 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 you're fucking leaking. The mask is falling off. Come on, finish strong, bro. Backstories are boring to each of the characters. The writing is terrible. Yeah. The animation is shitty as fuck. I'm pretty sure oh, there's come some garbage on. CGI in there. And I mean, the, f the only CGI that I saw was the demi-human NPCs and like other NPCs around Lugunica in the beginning, right in the village, which was pretty decently just scattered around. It didn't even feel that jarring. 
And there was some CGI used with the Wolgarms, right? The uh, Mobbies, the Witch Fiends in Arc 2. When it was like darker, those hellhound looking things, there's a CGI. But like, nah, bro, compared to all the other shit, this is like shit's like eight years ago. Like so many anime recently, it's even worse CGI. Now the CGI usage in ReZero is very good. Fan base are morons. I mean, imagine basically. Yeah, the dragon carriages too sometimes, but it's never been like a whiplash. We just having an anime built around fan service in uh, a simp storyline. That's literally it. And then also the world building is terrible. Is it terrible? Why is it terrible? Because I think that ReZero has one of the most fascinating fucking world buildings. I, I mean, there, there's not a single redeeming quality about this anime, guys. You can't just say world building is bad and not give examples on why it's bad. I mean, it's complete trash. It, it... Literally, the subjugation that you're talking about is peak fucking world building. Literally, Arc 3. Like, I don't think people comprehend the, the impact that Arc 3 has on the story. Two months after Jesus Christ, known as Natsuki Subaru, arrives into this world, right? The, and, and, and the kingdom is literally in panic as their entire royal family dies off and they're trying to find a new fucking candidate for the throne. This random kid shows up out of nowhere, representing Amelia, in a matter of like a couple days after making a fool of himself in the royal selection, subjugates the white whale, which has been causing terror in this world for 400 years. The last source saint literally died trying to attempt the subjugation. A random kid shows up, just clears that. It's a fucking legendary heroic event. And then in that same day, in that same day, a couple hours later, he defeats one of the most active arc bishops representing Sloth, Betrugus. The world building is fucking amazing. The context around the events that's happening and the people surrounding it, like, it is unreal to think about what the outside perspective is on Natsuki Subaru. It just further, uh, you know, f further reinforces my hate for Isekai, man. Like, Isekai is so fucking garbage, especially... <laughs> I don't deny that. There's a lot of garbage Isekai out there. When they do it like this, don't even explain the powers, just transport to this world. Oh, he has no reaction. Remember, show don't tell. Just because you're not being told, you're not being spoon-fed information, doesn't mean it's bad storytelling. It's self-reporting of monkeys not understanding what the hell's going on because their IQ is so low. ...to it whatsoever. He's just cool with uh, being in this whole other world because he's a loser. So let me go to this other world. Yeah, you, let me get this bullshit of power that's never even explained. There's just so much shit that's not even explained. You literally said that shit twice about the, how the power wasn't explained twice because you don't even know what to point out the flaws in. You're, you're looping right now. Hey man, like, I'm sure I missed some shit, guys, but if you've seen this anime and you know how bad it is, feel free to yeah. put some of the reasons that I missed and why it's so bad. I mean, it's just garbage. This shit is complete fucking garbage, man. Mm. And the fans of this anime... <laughs> I guess we're at the conclusion. He's not going to talk about the story anymore. It's just going to be blatant insults. You, you guys have got to be one of the most pathetic fan bases I've ever seen, man. Like, it's laughably bad and laughably sad how, like, how, how down bad you motherfuckers are. Like, to hype up shit like this just because, uh, oh, there's uh, waifus, guys, the, this lolly bullshit. And, I mean, even at the end of the series, I, I mean, I just finished. It took me a while to watch this shit because it was just mm. so fucking boring and garbage, man. I had to watch a hell of other series. Um, mm. You know, I just got distracted because this shit was so bad. But even at the ending, you know, Subaru confesses his love to Amelia. And, and she yeah. curves him a bit. She's like... Well, I, I don't know uh, about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what love is. Like, shit, can you give me some time? I don't know. And she, he's, he's just like, well, take as much time as you need because uh, yeah. I, I love you, Million. I'll be here when you uh, fall head over heels for me or whatever. It, yeah, he, he, that, that was a sus ass line. For sure, that's the beginning of Natsuki Subaru the Groomer, right? It's just like, take all your time, baby, because I'll make sure you're going to fall in love with me head over heels. It's just bad, bro. It's bad. And I don't care if it changes in season two. I, I really don't give a fuck. You, you people are just... You, you people are retards, brain dead retards. I mean, anyone with a fucking single brain cell would understand that this anime is garbage. I mean, um, anyone with a single brain cell would understand this anime is garbage. Let's take that statement right now and just try to think about that. Is that not a self report? Anyone with a single brain cell can understand this anime is garbage. Which means that a retard with a single brain cell is assuming that this anime is garbage. Because they have a single brain cell. You know what I mean?
<laughs> you know what I mean? Completely, absolutely fucking pathetic. <laughs> Easily one of the worst anime I've seen. And if you're a fan of this anime, you're just a complete fucking moron. And I honestly, like I said, there's people that are too far gone, man. And I feel like if you like this anime, you're mm. you're one of those people. I mean, your taste, you you people cannot be saved. You know what I'm saying? Like J. Cole, bro. Don't save her. She don't, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> in all seriousness, man, garbage anime. Yeah. Absolutely one of the worst I've seen. Definitely towards the bottom of my list, man. Uh, I mean, I want to I want to see the top of his list, bro. Just just garbage. Just garbage. And all this, man, just so the MC can get a piece of half elf pussy, man. Yeah. Fucking everything garbage. And that's the video, and I'm pretty certain that at this point that he's a Mushoku Tensei video. He has a Mushoku Tensei video. Oh shit! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I mean, his channel is called King Mad. What, what do you think he's doing here? Trying to make people mad. Overrated garbage. Complete garbage. Oh, Eminence is shot. Gar Everything is garbage, bro. Roasted. <laughs> okay, we gotta watch it. <laughs> yes! We found. Okay. The Tower of God. Okay. We gotta watch this. We have to. I think that. Okay. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. King Mad. I, I am King Mad. Oh, I'm, I'm a big fan now. Oh, oh, we go. Every oh dude, imagine the farm. We missed all the leveling. We could have farmed. Okay, when season two comes around, we gotta fucking cover this. Oh my god, I, I think that we have just encountered a treasure trove, just like Gilgamesh's fucking treasure room. Oh my god, all garbage, all garbage. Imagine the hate rage baits, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a reasonable man, <laughs> encouraging independent thinking, logical thinking, high order thinking, critical thinking, and intellectualism swish wine glass. Also, if you a hater, go ahead and cry and whine in the comments. I am better than you. Shout out to the intellectuals. I'm a fan. <laughs> Mostly, I watch an anime, and if it's shit, I rant on it here. Slash, and I kind of my previous thoughts on shit anime. No one is more hated than he who speaks the truth. <laughs> Channel not intended for the children. <laughs> Absolute fucking cinema, dude. Absolute cinema. Oh, I'm liking this video. Uh-huh. And I'm sharing the video, guys. Please. Go to Mr. King Mad, sub to his channel, like his videos if you haven't. Oh, we'll be back with more. Oh, we gonna be back with more. I am a big fan too. Oh yeah, we got We just found a fucking new cash cow. Absolutely.